In this video, we look at elements, compounds, mixtures and states of matter. So we'll start with elements. All substances are made up of one or more elements. An element is a substance that cannot be broken down into a simpler substance by chemical means. And here we have the periodic table of the elements, which shows all the known elements. Next we look at compounds. A compound is formed from two or more different elements chemically joined in a fixed ratio. So here's an example, H2O. H2O is a compound. It's made of two or more different elements, that's oxygen and hydrogen, and they chemically join together in a fixed ratio. So for every one atom of oxygen, there's two atoms of hydrogen. Compounds have different properties from the elements that they are made from. So here's an example. We have sodium metal, which is a very reactive metal. We have chlorine gas, which is a poisonous gas. And if they react together, they form sodium chloride, which we know as salt. And this can be represented with the equation sodium plus chlorine makes sodium chloride, or the symbol equation, which is 2Na plus Cl2 gives you 2NaCl. Next is mixtures. Mixtures contain more than one element and or compound that are not chemically bonded together and so retain their individual properties. Mixtures can be either homogeneous or heterogeneous. So as we can see, matter can be classified as pure substances, which can be either elements or compounds, or mixtures, which can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. A homogeneous mixture has the same uniform appearance and composition throughout. An example is a salt solution. A heterogeneous mixture consists of visibly different substances or phases. An example is sand and water. And finally, we look at states of matter. So the three states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. A solid to a liquid that's melting, liquid to a gas that can be evaporation or boiling. A gas to a liquid, that's condensation. A liquid to a solid is freezing. We can go from a solid straight to a gas with no liquid phase, that's sublimation. And then a gas to a solid with no liquid phase, that's deposition. Solids have a fixed shape, a fixed volume, and the particles are held together by intermolecular forces in fixed positions. In a liquid, we have a fixed volume, but the liquid takes the shape of the container, and the particles are held closely together by intermolecular forces. In a gas, the particles have very weak forces of attraction between particles, and they fill the container completely.